there's probably not a day goes by when I, whether I have been in Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, Macedonia, Washington, D.C., wherever I might be, that I have not thought about my work in Syracuse and my education at Maxwell. It has carried me day in and day out, both the practice that I was involved in in Syracuse, as well as the academic education, the training that I received at Maxwell. I remember really wrestling with coming back from my doctoral work because I was doing government work that I loved and I didn't want to leave the government work that I was doing, but I also wanted to come back and complete what I thought was my academic education. And I also couldn't decide whether I'd be in political science or maybe anthropology, sociology. I love them all, public administration. And Maxwell provided a place for me where I didn't have to make a choice and I could do what I loved. I could continue to be a practitioner and also be able to ask the large questions about civic engagement and citizenship and democracy and women's participation. And so, and I, I think often of those days, I, just a couple of months ago, I was, actually, now I think about it last fall, when I was in Afghanistan for a very short time on an assessment trip, and I was in a small village called Gardez, Afghanistan, and in the crowd in front of me, as I'm walking through a marketplace, I look, and there's a 13 or 14-year-old, and he has a Syracuse University Maxwell sweatshirt on. <laughs> And I, I go running through this crowd, here it is, this American woman running after calling after him, and through his English and my very bad Pashto, he tells me that this is a sweatshirt from his uncle who went to Maxwell School. And so again, it was a reminder of even in Afghanistan in a far southeast place, Maxwell was with me. Um, I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to have this, and thank you for all of you being here to watch this. Thank you.